Hello, long time no see. This has been a week full of technical difficulties and just busyness and it's just... <sighs> so this setup is a little different. I'm using a different mic right now. So hopefully everything sounds okay. It's on my table. It's one of those fancy blue Yeti mics, you know, that all the podcasters use. All right, variety stream, which one do you wanna see next? Kid Chameleon, okay. When I was going through some of the Sega visions, I saw like um, a thing on Kid Chameleon and I'm like, this looks cool. I don't think I've ever played this. Like I don't even think I've played it a little bit. So I'm kind of excited. There was a new machine in the arcade. That, okay, it's got, ooh. It used holograms to create a reality, not our own. Everybody played it. Uh-oh. I bet it's evil. It was a little too real. It's the holodeck. It kind of looks like it, huh? Hey, Zen Arcades. This is the story of someone too tough to beat. Oh my god. Someone known as... Oh, look at this. Kid Chameleon. This is nuts. This is a lot of tude. Is there like difficulty settings? I'm gonna put on easy because I've never played this if that's even a... Nope. Oh wait. Normal action or fax a fast action? Fax. Push for slow? What does that mean? I don't know, whatever. Exit. We'll just, we'll just let it happen. Alright, Kid Chameleon, let's go. Start one. I guess that means there's two different files you can keep, I don't know. Blue Lake Woods. I don't like how those trees have faces. Okay. Okay. Oh, so this is timed. Oh, we got more time. Hmm. Get up there. Can I get up there? Oh, wait, wait, wait. There we go. The jumping feels weird. like kind of floaty so I know you can like get different abilities and stuff okay see I thought we were gonna be able to like use a weapon but so far I don't think we can do we get a weapon now no so do we just jump on everybody it's run and jump more than a hundred levels in this game that's crazy if you tap the jump button while near the edge of a platform when you're in your kid form, you'll fl you'll flip onto the platform. Okay. And can you, like, get in and out of whatever form you're in? Like, can I go back to kid form right now? Or is it just, like, I have this helmet on, so I'm this for a while, and I just can't do anything about it? Hello, Zen Arcade. I'm using the Model 2 Genesis. Hey, Cheesequake. Oh, you have to get hit. Only if you lose your life, you go back to the normal kid version. Oh, okay. What controller I'm using? I'm using the three button. Is there really, yeah, is there really over 100 levels in this? That's crazy. Oh, bouncy, okay. I don't really like how the sprites look, but like, I'm still intrigued. Oh my god. Oh! Oh, I wanna get up there. Okay, we got another helmet. Wait. <laughs> Damn it! I wanna get up there. Whatever. And 
then he jumps a very tiny flagpole. Alright, so we're still in Blue Lake Woods, but now we're on chapter two of it, I guess. Look at that thing. That's interesting. Ooh! Cool! Oh, now I now I can do stuff. Yeah, now we have a samurai sword. Okay, this is better. Maybe I was able to have a weapon last time too, but maybe I just didn't use it. I don't know. Oh, they're little guys. This is interesting. So maybe we're powering up more? Or we're getting more time? I don't know. Like, every time you collect a helmet, maybe you get stronger? I don't know. Like, the same helmet? <laughs> Does that make sense? This is the most unique mechanic. The, wait, the most unique mechanic of Kid Chameleon is diamond power. If you have 20 or more diamonds, you can press A and start to activate a diamond power. Diamond powers cost 20 or 50 diamonds, and the powers you can access depend on the armor you're wearing. Oh, that's cool. And only some suits have weapons. Okay. Thank you so much, Toymus. I hope I'm saying your name right. Thanks for watching the stream. All right. Hmm, this is interesting. I'm kind of into this. Alright, I don't know how to get up there. So I think you jump higher if you kind of run at it from the side. I guess like a run jump type thing. I don't know. Oh! There we go. So if I hold down A... There we go. Oh. Machine gun rock. Okay, how did I do that? Okay. Come on. I'm determined to hit this. It's gonna be nothing. Oh yeah, I should have jumped on the enemy. Come on. Okay, fuck it. It's time. I forgot. So we're collecting diamonds. Uh-oh. I'm gonna let him come down here. Oh, I thought he was gonna come down here. Nope. What do I do? Oh! Okay. So, like, what's the general consensus of this game? I, I feel like it's kind of considered a classic Genesis game, but then again, it's like I never see anybody playing this or talking about it really. Like, do people not like it or do they like it? I don't know. Oh, fuck yeah, we got our helmet back. Shit. It would help if I stopped getting the controls mixed up. <laughs> this is Kid Chameleon. Some people love it, others think it has bad controls and troll levels. I mean, look at- I don't know, I, I don't feel like the controls are bad. They're a little awkward. But I mean, I can change the button layout if I want, but like, the jump feels a little floaty. 
That's because the 100 levels are too much. I mean, yeah, it's a little ridiculous, but, like, I mean, so I guess people don't like it because it's, like, it's very rare that you're actually going to beat it. Is that why? I only played it for, like, 10 minutes at a time and used to do the same as a kid. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know. I kind of like it, though. There's a Splatterhouse slash Jason mask later in the game. Oh, I saw a picture of that. Uh, Retro Gaming Night. I hope I, I hope we get it. Unless it's, like, too far into the game. I don't know. All right. So Mike's having a good time playing Final Fantasy V, I can tell. Shit. I timed that horribly! Alright. <laughs> There's a tank power-up that shoots skulls? That's awesome. I think I like this. He sounds like he fell down a well. <laughs> that that scream did kind of sound like that, didn't it? Ooh, high water pass. Ooh, now the diamonds are blue. Oh, different. I was gonna say different skull, different helmet. Okay, so this one doesn't have a weapon. That's okay. Do we kick? To do. You oh you run at the wall. Oh. <laughs> that was interesting. Boing. Okay. This is Kid Chameleon. Um, oh, there we go. There we go. The, yeah, the jumping is a little weird. Okay, now we're back to this guy. No weapon. Oh, so his thing is he like breaks stuff with his jumps. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go over here. I don't know what to do. Oh, he climbs. Climb. How do you climb? I'm trying to climb the wall. I would love to climb the wall, but I have no idea how to climb the freaking wall! Wait, did I kind of do it? No. Does anybody know? I don't, I don't know. Tap C against the wall. Oh, okay. Thank you. Oh, shit. I do I can't do it on that wall okay okay now you gotta jump over there there we go there we go okay and now we're back to this guy who runs huh I mean, it's cool that there's so much variety. Fuck, get up. <laughs> Whoa. 
Oh, did I accidentally use the diamonds there? I might have. Hello, Godzilla Master. What game is this? This is Kid Chameleon. Hey, Red. Um, we're just getting going in the stream. We played, uh... What did we play right before this Earthworm Gym? I'm playing on a Sega Genesis. Diamonds are just points? Okay, I thought somebody said that... If you get enough, you can do a special attack. This will be a mistake. But what if I can climb up? I'm gonna try to do that. Oh! <laughs> okay, we couldn't climb up, but we found a secret over here. Oh! Okay. <laughs> At least we're getting more diamonds, which can't be bad. And yes, this is a um, Genesis Everdrive. Oh, you missed Earthworm Jim. Well, I was horrible at it, Photon. You didn't miss anything. That's a game I would have to mess with off stream because I was having a real hard time getting uh, used to the controls. So you didn't miss anything. Fuck, 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 jump. No! It's okay. Alright, so now we're just normal kid chameleon. Can I jump on him? Hmm? I don't under- hold on. Oh, there we go. Jump! Ah, oh, we're dead. There are a lot of there are a lot of games on my EverDrive. You like add ROMs to it, and then you can play EverDrive's work by you add ROMs to it, and then you play it on an actual system. Hello, TD. Just a dude with a toot, exactly. And thank you, Hellraiser, for the host. <sighs> All right, I'm trying to decide if I should keep going with this or switch it up. I'm taking a break, though, because hands. Illusion, Castle of Illusion. <clears throat> I'm weird. With those games, I'm like, I'm not super into Castle of Illusion or World of Illusion. I don't think they're bad. I just personally don't have a lot of fun with it. I'm sorry. I always feel bad saying that because so many people like those games. If you are finishing this game, you got a rough ride ahead of you. I don't plan to finish it. No. Because it's over 100 levels, I guess. Tailspin. Ooh. Tailspin on Genesis? Is that a thing? I can only think of the NES game. I'm gonna play this a little bit longer, but then we'll switch it up. Yeah, we can play a little bit of Quackshot or Dynamite Heady, Magical Tarutu Kun. I'm not familiar with that, but I might have it. They did make a Tailspin on Genesis. Okay, I might do that next just because it's not ringing a bell, and I don't think I've ever seen that, and I'm curious. Turrican. We can do Turrican. I never fell in love with Turrican, but it like I like the music a lot for the Turrican games, and I feel like I should like it more than I do. Okay. Go 
Going up the hill. Jump, jump, jump. There we go. Uh oh. Oh, yeah, this is the guy that climbs the walls. Boing, boing. Come on. Come on. You can jump up there. I know you can. The jumping is really weird. Oh, just this again? I'm not gonna do that again, because we're just trying to see what this is all about. <sighs> Come on. The jumping is so awkward! There we go. Okay. And yes, that was Mike yelling. Looks like he is more bouncy than jumping, yeah. I mean, it's because we're on those bouncy blocks. How hard is Castlevania Bloodlines compared to other Castlevania? I think it's one of the easier ones. But then Mike thinks it's one of the harder ones. So it, like, depends on, you know, it depends on the person. It's the Castlevania game I've had the easiest time with, I would say. But I mean, it's still Castlevania, so it takes a lot of practice and learning what to do where. Oh, look at that hand. Creepy hands. Oh my god. Oh my god, it grabs you. Get off me. I don't like it. Oh, that's scary. I don't like it. The Japanese version of Bloodline's easier? Okay, I haven't played the Japanese version. I've only played the American version. Oh, what? What? Hmm. Are you bad? Hmm. Ah! Oh my god! Shit. Got the buttons mixed up. No. I had to scratch my nose. Don't shoot me when I'm trying to scratch my nose. Shit. Okay, so we got hit way too many times. Mm hmm. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> this is fun though. Baloo is cool and laid back. <laughs> I like how everyone's talking about Baloo in the chat. Okay, so you can play as Kit Cloud Kicker. Wasn't that his name? Or blue. We'll we'll play as blue. Guys, have you read today's newspaper? There's going to be a flying contest. 
It's more than a contest. Oh, I'm skipping through this too fast. Okay. So there's just a lot going on and I'm just skipping through it. Because I, I just want to play as blue with a ping pong paddle. Sounds great. There's Don Carnage. I was wondering where he would come in. <laughs> okay, come on. I, I, I like the sound of the ping pong ball hitting an enemy. <laughs> it's a very satisfying sound. Oh no, we're dead. Can you breathe underwater, Blue? I hope so. Are we trapped here forever? I don't know what to do. Thank you so much Super Nintendo Chalmers for subscribing with Prime. Thank you. I like your username. Oh, come on. Are we really stuck down here now? Or no, we're not. Okay. I was gonna say, what? <sighs> oh, come on. Please get me out of the water. Okay, so burgers give you health. Wouldn't that be nice if that was true in real life? Oh, oh, okay, so the crabs were popping the bubbles and then the crabs attack us. Okay, so you don't want to do that. Oh my god. Oh! What? What's pulling us back? Subbed for the Sailor Moon emotes. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I, I should have another Sailor Moon emote. I want, like, a, another Sailor Moon reaction emote. Because I like, uh, you know, the one of Usagi crying. I feel that's very accurate for my streams. It's very good to have. Because a lot of things go wrong here on Aaron Place. But I don't know. What other Sailor Moon characters do you want to see? Or we can just have another Sailor Moon. I really like Sailor Venus. Oh! Wait, wait, wait. Who is that up there? Was that Shere Khan? Boing. Oh my god, he's shooting at us! He wants Baloo dead. That's right. Nothing that my trusty ping pong paddle can't take care of it can take care of a gun oh my god can you please just let me out of here i hate this i don't like being underwater <laughs> no more kid chameleon no i'm trying i was gonna like uh play that for too long. I needed to mix it up because this is a variety stream, but I did enjoy it. I don't know. I could, I would play more of that. I would do a dedicated stream to that. I don't think I would beat it because it's long as hell, but I would play it again for sure. Tuxedo Mike. <laughs> a rage emote of Ray slash Mars. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a very good idea. I'm going to write that down. Do, 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 do. Uranus. Uranus. See, I would always say Uranus, but then in the Viz dub, they say Uranus, which I mean sounds better, you know, because you're not saying anus. So 
so I never know how to pronounce it. How do you guys pronounce it? I mean, I guess now in Sailor Moon canon, it's Uranus, so I guess I should say Uranus. <laughs> that's that's the questions I ask here on Aaron Plays, the hard-hitting questions. Anus, Sailor Anus. Well, th that would be a totally different person. Hey, Bubs88, have I ever tried Valus 3 on Genesis? I've tried, what Valus game have I played? It was in a variety stream. I don't remember if it was one on PC Engine. I don't know. I'm down to play that though. What are, what are the best Valus games? Cause I think there was, I played one. I wish I remember which one it was. I, I think I've played two, but one of them, I remember it was like, it's, I thought I liked it, but then I got stuck in it. Like I couldn't get past a, a wall or something. And then it just, it just killed my vibe and I gave up on it. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, and then if you're just joining, I'm pausing a lot because I have hand issues and it's bad right now. And also, if you're wondering what happened to the Game Boy Collection video, I'm not entirely sure I'm still doing that because I kind of got in over my head on it. So now we're just doing a chill Sega variety stream. <laughs> and I recorded a different video last night, and so hopefully that'll be out very soon. Hello, New Wave Junkie, what's up? All right, so this is Tailspin. I don't know what to do after this. I mean, I'm sure I could figure it out. I just don't really care enough to figure it out. I mean, it's a, it's a hell of a lot better than the one on um, NES. It's just, I don't know where to go and I don't want to swim through the crabs again. So we're gonna move on. And I think Bub said he wanted Valus 3. So let's try Valus 3. Oh, there's three Valus games. All right, well, let's try Valus 3. Third is the best, okay. The Valus games are all pretty solid, but lost in a sea of action platformers in the 16-bit area. Era, did I say area? I meant era. You are playing Battletoads on Genesis the other day? I have not played Genesis Battletoads. I've only played NES Battletoads. And to be honest, I could not get into it. Oh, for Tailspin, you need to gather a certain number of cargo boxes to advance. Oh, okay, that's why it was saying closed, I'm guessing, on that sign. <laughs> we need a Sailor Moon RPG review video, Super Famicom. Um, I did play, I, pl I streamed it once, and it was a, um, what should I, it was a homebrew cartridge, and then it stopped working about two hours into the game, so I was very upset. I did upload the stream though to my Aaron Plays Extras channel, but I would like to play it again because I really liked it. So it'll happen again soon. And then yes, if it, if um, if I have anything to say, I would make a video about it. Um, I believe Hungry Garaya made a video on it, so you should check that out. Thank you so much. Lava, Levance, Lava NC, how do you say that, Levance? I'm gonna say Levance, 91, for gifting two subs to Shooklin TV and 40 Ounce Doctor. Thank you so much, really appreciate that. Yeah, the Sailor Moon Arcades, see, the, the whoa, the Sailor Moon Arcade beat em up. Yeah, I always forget that there's the arcade Sailor Moon games. I have not played those. But it's kind of exciting that I still have unexplored territory when it comes to Sailor Moon games. Because I always think of, you know, the one on Mega Drive and then the Super Famicom ones. And it's like, oh yeah, there's still the arcade version. I need to stream that. Oh, okay, that's good, Love Levance. <laughs> oh, thank you for licking that, Wolfmaster. Alright, so this is Valus 3. People are saying this is the best one. I'm excited. I don't know anything about, whoa, sorry, Mike, not Mike Matei, but Mike talking Mike, M-I-C. 
So people say this is the best one. I don't know anything about Valis as like when it comes to the lore or anything, but it looks cool. I like the colors. My Valis sword has been stolen by somebody. I've got to get it back as soon as possible. I have to go now. Okay, so we're in our pajamas, <laughs> I think. I cannot use my battle change ability without the sword. Oh my God, well we better get it. Okay. So right now we can literally only jump. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I'm trying not to press B. Okay, I get it. Can I get out of this menu? Did it freeze? I can't get out of this menu. Alright. <laughs> let's try that again. Okay, let's try Valis 3. Damn it! Let's try Valis 3. Please, please just work. This is another mess of a stream, so thank you very much for sticking with me, guys. It's been a long week. A very long week. Alright. How soon before the dark world is destroyed? Half a year. Well, that's plenty of time. Alright, so I guess we're skipping that. I was actually gonna watch the cutscene, but I accidentally pressed start. So let's press start again and just get going. Alright, Valis 3. Oh my goodness! Thank you so much, Bubs88, for gifting five subs. Thank you so much to Frax, <laughs> Ty Creek, 44 Games, CR Gamer, and Collector Chris. Thank you so much. That's super kind of you, Bubs. You've gifted a total of 200 subs. Dude, thank you so much for the support. Seriously, thank you. That is so kind of you. Alright, so let's see if this freezes again. I'm gonna be very upset if it freezes again because I really do want to see this game. Okay, so my Valis sword has been stolen by somebody. I've got to get it back as soon as possible. I have to go now. Okay, and we're not gonna press B because I think that's what froze it last time. I was pressing B too much. So right now we can only jump. Okay. I'm nervous. Okay, I didn't freeze. My name is Cham. I need the power of the sword to beat Glames. Or is it Glamis? I'm gonna say Glames, I don't know. If we cannot get to it in time, the human and dreamland worlds are going to be... That's it! I finally found you! <laughs> Somebody's chasing me? I didn't think they would find me this quickly. Ooh. Ah! What? <laughs> I like the dialogue, it's riveting. I've played... A Valis game before. I, th I think I've played two, but I don't remember which ones. I don't think I've played Valis 3 before. I played one, I think, on PC Engine. And then I played one, I don't remember on what, but I got stuck. And I was very upset because I was liking it. And then I got stuck by some obstacle I couldn't get around. But allegedly, you guys are saying this is the best one. I need the Valis sword! Uh oh. Oh no, we're gonna jump off the building. Oh, there we go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Return it to me. There we go. Okay, so now we're all powered up and ready to go. Splat. Oh my god, bug. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so is it a thing where you can charge your sword? I'm getting Astyanix flashbacks where you had to like worry about charging the sword and everything. Oh! Do you change it when you hit it? I don't know. 
I thought I changed the jewel thing we just touched by hitting it with the sword, but I guess we didn't. I don't know. Okay, let's get a pink one this time. No? Oh, so I can only get blue right now? I don't understand. Hello, TRG. What's up? I'm good. How are you? Okay. Oh. I need that heart. Fuck. I don't understand that. So, feel free to explain it if anybody knows. So those little diamond things, when it was pink, I couldn't collect it. But then I, like, hit it with the sword and it turned blue and then I was able to collect it. So there's hit points and magic points, I'm guessing? I don't know. Thank you, TRG. And thank you, Matt Marmalade, for subscribing for 14 months. Thank you so much. Looks like a mix between Sailor Moon and Power Rangers. Oh, okay, so Re Retro Gaming Night says the red jewels are like the candles in Castlevania. Okay, blue is magic, sword is power, hearts are life. Oh, okay, so they're red and then you hit, so it's like whipping the candle and then you get your item. Okay, thank you for explaining that. A little lemon sponge action for the honorable mention. I, I read that as Lemon Pledge because that's like a thing in my stream. I don't even, I don't know how that started. I don't even remember. But they're always talking about the fucking Lemon Pledge. And it, whenever I see it in like a store, I'm like, oh, there it is. <laughs> no! That's okay. Okay, so we're going to get that. And we got that. And wait, what is the blue again? It's magic. Okay. So I assume there's an attack we can do with magic. No! Shit! Oh, sword. Ooh! I wonder what that is. That looks cool. Oh my god. Nevada and this guy the beginning of the game it looks like the beginning of troubleshooter and I feel like that looks like an enemy from troubleshooter I don't know it could just be me <laughs> the sword meter reminds me of legendary axe and asti annex exactly that's why I was like this is I'm getting asti annex flashbacks oh god the biggest little city in the world, that's true. This meeting was done quickly. Do you understand why, Warrior of Alice? Why did you do such a thing? Ask your sword. Oh my god, does the sword talk? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Ah! Oh, I used an attack, okay. So that was what our magic does, I assume. Can you like do like a, oh, okay. Oh yeah, I gotta wait for my sword to power up. You can't just go wacky, wacky, wacky. <laughs> the dark world is going to be absorbed into nether space. Well, that doesn't sound good. 
This is true. Is that why you wanted my Vala sword? Oh, did we steal it from her? Oh, never mind. She was talking to us. There are two swords. Okay. One of them is yours, Phallus. Oh, okay. I didn't mean to skip out of that. Okay, so there's two swords. Ooh, chompy teeth. Oh, did not mean to do that. That's okay. No, I keep doing that. Damn it. That's okay. Still getting a hang of everything. So I'm really liking this so far. I might have to do like a full playthrough one day. So this is why I like the variety streams. It shows me things I would not have thought about uh, doing videos on or playing in general. Ooh. That little slug was hard to kill. I don't like this like shadow outline person. Scary. Okay, I know somebody told me. I forget. Wait. The sword is power. Okay. I was gonna No! We fell. I was gonna say, like, I didn't remember what the sword icons do, but... He-Man like this would have been cool. Wouldn't that have been awesome if there was like a He-Man platformer? I mean, I don't know. Maybe that'll happen someday. Now that there's the new Netflix show. Haven't seen it yet. Oh, I keep missing that jump. I think it's so crazy that Sarah Michelle Gellar is Tila. And the new one. <laughs> spawn really fast. Shit. Oh my god, come on. Those guys are hard to kill. I should probably just jump over that guy and not worry about killing him. The little slug guy. This is Valus 3 on Sega Genesis. So was this actually released in the US or like Europe or was this a Japan only? And is this like a, a fuck, a translation. He-Man retro indie game, I could see that coming. Yeah, like, I feel like now is the time where maybe there could be a He-Man game, like, side-scroller, like, quality game, but I don't know. Oh, it was released in the US? Okay. See, I don't know anything about Phallus, so like I didn't know if that was like popular here or what. Oh, come on.
These guys are annoying. Oh, you can switch characters? Oh, and she has a whip. Does she jump higher? That's interesting. This is cool. I didn't know you could switch characters. How did we get that? I don't know. I wanted to get those items, but I don't know how to jump that high. This is nifty. I like this game. I haven't said the word nifty in a long time, but here we are. <laughs> Hey, the Leet Sword, what's up? She does fight like a Belmont. Speaking of Belmonts, what does this remind you of? Hmm? Little guy in the boat in Simon's Quest. It's said that Princess Velna has been imprisoned in the Tower of Gull at the center of this lake. Is there any future for Dreamland? I don't know. Hey, boatman, we've got to get to the tower. Give us a ride, please. Okay, but this boat is only for two people. One of you must stay. Hmm, if I go, I cannot be helped by Yuko. Which one of you will you take Will take the chance? I don't know. I kind of like this girl. Cham, is that her name? Hello, Ernesto. Hmm, I want to take her. This is Cham, I think. I'm gonna take Sham. I will rescue Princess Velna. Oh, so is it like from here on out, I can only be one of them? I don't know, we'll find out. All right, hurry up, we need to take off. Oh my goodness. There's even little um, sea monsters like in Castlevania. Ooh. I like the music. Yeah, this game is cool, Marlon. I'm, I'm liking it so far. Would I want to meet the creator of Castlevania? I mean, that would be cool. It's just, I don't, I don't know what I'd say. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's kind of like with certain celebrities, like, I, like, or, you know, bands or something. It's like, oh, like, I really, like, I don't know, like, I'm trying to think of an example. I was going to say Weezer, but I did meet the majority of Weezer, which was actually really cool. Um, but, like, okay, so, for example, like, if it was, like, Britney Spears or somebody, I'd be like, I don't even know what I would say. It's like, I, I love Britney. I have since I was a kid, but, like, I don't need to meet her. You know what I mean? Uh-oh, we're stopped. I must collect additional fare beyond this point. The fare is costly. Oh, no. Are they going to want our soul? I know I'm using all my magic on this, but whatever. There we go. Boom! Pure Solar? I, is that a Genesis game? I've never heard of that, Ryo. 
when I met Kevin Smith and Jason Mewes, I asked if they know about AVGN, and they do. That's so crazy, games and movies. That's cool. Person624 says, met Hilary Duff and said I saw one of her movies and it was good, and she said you're the only one. <laughs> Did she really say that? Did that really happen? That's funny. Oh, thank you, Captain Chris. Welcome to the stream. Oh, Pure Solar came out in 2014. Okay, that's not ringing a bell. So I, I don't, I don't know what that is. It's funny how you were supposedly going to that tower on the middle of the lake, but you were clearly going past it. <laughs> so just don't think too much into it. See now, now we're in the thing, right? We got here somehow, and that's all that needs to matter, I guess. <laughs> Oh, we're dead. Ooh. Is there wall meat? No. I had a check. We have a whip. I had a check. <laughs> Oh, look at this guy! Is he wearing goggles? He's funny. He looks like Krang with a helmet and, like, squiggly legs. <laughs> I like that you get power-ups fairly often, so your magic's not always totally dead. Oh, no! Oh, at least we didn't die. Just have to do a little backtracking, that's okay. Ah, we missed that one. That's okay. Shit. Oh, I thought we were gonna get hit by him. Maybe we did. No, oh, you fucker. <sighs> okay, let's go down here. That is the fire guard. Coley Lamba, who is standing at the top of the tower. Princess Valna, who's taken imprisoned in the crystal. Oh, has been imprisoned in the crystal. Coley Lamba is taking her prisoner to King Glames. Glamis Glames. Okay. Alright, sorry dude. I guess I'm not helping you. I don't I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Hello, mana snakes. Aaron can't escape her fate. The game just morphed into several Castlevania titles. It's true. That's why I'm still playing it. I like it. I guess I just, I'm a sucker for that type of gameplay. <laughs> okay, I don't know how to get that. Oh! No, 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 no. I wanted to slide. I forget how to slide. Like that, I guess. It's really easy to accidentally jump down through the blocks. No! No, 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 Damn it! No, no, I keep pressing the wrong thing. Fuck. It's annoying. Okay. A and down is slide, Aaron. Time over! Your time over! I am upset. 
set. So I don't know what that does. Like, see how I got that like little wand with the blue orb? I'm not really sure what that means. Like when you get that item, maybe it's a different special attack. <laughs> I'm guessing that's what it means. So there's various special attacks. I don't like timers either. Like in certain things it makes sense, but it's like, can I just play it? Please. So I can't, I guess I'm not helping that prisoner right now, so I can just leave him there. Ah, there's a lot going on here. <laughs> Fuck. There we go. Okay, so now we're kind of back to where we were, right? Spoke too soon. No, 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 no! I keep pressing the wrong thing. I played some Alex Kidd games, yes. Not like, I haven't gotten really like invested in any of the Alex Kidd games, but I played them here and there. This is Valis 3. Okay, let's try this again. Eighth times the charm, right? Or however many times we've done this. Finally! <laughs> Alright. Alright, so we're still going up and up into the castle. Oh, more health. That was nice. Those guys are a bitch. Hmm, I guess I'm going over here. Okay, it's going this way. More prisoners? I must not be jumping right because I mean there we go okay so I guess if you hold down jump a little you jump higher shit did not mean to do that how do I get up there I guess I go this way no okay 
Okay. <sighs> Damn it, I need to do this. <sighs> this is such an awkward jump. <sighs> Come on. Do I go up here? Okay. Whatever. Okay. Oh, come on. What am I doing wrong? Can I slide to the left? I don't know what you mean. See, I can't jump straight up here. Oh, you mean slide like this? Oh my god, you can! Thank you. Okay. That's weird. Time over? No, that's not fair. God damn it, I hate that shit. Hey, Commander Anderson. That is very aggravating as time. It's like, I feel like a lot of side scrollers don't need to be timed, but whatever. Oh. Well, I like this game. I'll move on since this is supposed to be a variety stream, but this is a lot of fun. Yeah, I would definitely do a full stream of this. So it looks like some people like this game. A lot of people like this game. Some people don't, but I like it. So I will definitely come back to this. So what would you like for the next game? What do you guys want to see next? I don't know how much longer I'll be going. How long have I been streaming? Oh, it's almost been two hours. Hmm. Alien Soldier? Mm. I don't really want to play Alien Soldier. <laughs> Sorry, anything else? Sparkster? Oh, isn't that the follow-up to, um... What's it called? Rocket Knight Adventure? Okay, we can try Sparkster, and then you guys want Hyperstone Heist or Streets of Rage 2. Alright, I don't really want to play a ton of beat-em-ups, though, because it kills my hands. But, um, we'll start out with Sparkster and take it from there. Sparkster. Thank you so much, Dark Fielders, for subscribing for three months. Thank you so much. Have ever played that beat em up port of Pretty Soldier Sailor Moon for Mega Drive? I have. Um, I like a lot of the um, Sailor Moon beat em ups. They're pretty fun. I like that one. Um, and then I like Sailor Moon R. Or is that the same one? I'm trying to remember. But yeah, it's fun. I like it. You beat the Super Nintendo version of Sparkster a couple months ago? See, it's funny you say that because at first when you said that, I was like, wait, I thought that was only on. Super Nintendo, but then it's like, wait, Aaron, that wouldn't make sense because the first game, Rocket Knight, is a Genesis game, so. Anyway, all right, what were we doing? Sparkster. All right, I don't know if I've tried Sparkster. I've played a little bit of Rocket Knight, which I like, but I don't know about Sparkster. You guys want Booger Man? I don't like Booger, Booger Man. I almost said Booger Knight. <laughs> That's a different game. I would like a game. Where you're a knight and boogers happen with it too. But Booger Man, I just, I don't know, I've tried. I just can't get into it. 
Super Nintendo Genesis Sparkster are completely different games. Konami did that a lot back then. That's interesting. Sid of Valis? Um, maybe. I just played Valis 3 for a long time, so I want to switch it up a bit. Tiny Toons Buster's Hidden Treasure on Genesis is another fun one. Okay, I've tried Buster Bust Loose. I think that's what it's called on Super Nintendo. And I didn't love it, but... Alright, well this looks cool. Alright, so here's Sparkster. Is there an easy mode since I've never played this? Is this Sonic? No, this is not Sonic. Easy, yes. Making it easy on myself so we can get a hang of it. Alright. Looks cool so far. Oh my goodness, raid. Thank you so much, Mike Mate Live for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. We heard it. It seemed like there were some ups and downs. <laughs> but anyway, we're having a Sega Genesis variety stream here. So uh, yeah, stick around if that sounds fun. We're playing Sparkster right now. I just played a uh, Valis 3 for a little bit. I really like that game. So I definitely want to do a full Valis 3 stream. You you got done watching some weirdo in a wizard hat scream at his TV. Sounds like a mic stream. Rocket Knight Adventures 2. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know why that made me laugh. It's like a rhino with a Cinderella pumpkin carriage. I love it. Uh-oh, someone's gonna get kidnapped. Maybe not. I don't know what's happening. Sparkster sucks, Rocket Knight's better. Well, I don't know, it seems to be pretty divided. Some people like this game. Oh. Okay, that felt kind of Sonic-y. Hmm. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing. Am I hurting him or am I hurting myself? I don't remember the first Rocket Knight being like this. Okay, so I guess that was hurting him, but I also took a lot of hits, so I, I don't know. This is crazy. Woo. So do you guys like this version of Sparkster, or do you like the Super Nintendo version better? I have no idea what I'm doing. You never saw this one before? This is weird. So I guess I'm hurting myself. I thought that did damage to the enemy. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this so far. It's not love at first sight. I can tell you that much, but I'll give it a little bit more since I literally just started playing this. This is the sequel to Rocket Knight. It's like sometimes it hurts him and sometimes it hurts me. <laughs> Alright, well we did it. Rocket Day. That would be funnier if it was called Rocket Day Adventure. Haha. <laughs> Gotta go fast! Oh 
Oh my god, it's like the same shit over and over again with these guys. feel about this. I'm not really enjoying it, to be totally honest. The Genesis, this one's better than the Super Nintendo one? Okay. Hello, Flame MK. Hello, Fuzzborn. I'm good. How are you? And hello, TCW. Potatoes. All right, so, eh, eh, I kind of want to move on to the next game. What do you guys want? I know you guys were saying, um, Streets of Rage 2, but I just, I can't right now. It would kill my hands. But yeah, so, I don't know. If you guys like this, sorry, I just wasn't feeling the Sparkster. Toys? Uh, I have no idea what that is, but we can check it out. At least it's not ringing a bell yet. Toys let the toy wars begin. Huh. Huh. There's a lot of Mickey Mouse games for Genesis. There's Castle of Illusion, um, uh, World of Illusion. I don't particularly love either one, but a lot of people like them. Oh, this is based on that Robin Williams movie I've never seen. Once upon a time, a gifted toy maker wanted only to bring joy to all children. So I've never seen the movie, so I'm, whatever. This, this can't be good. This cannot be good, right? Or what if it is? Wouldn't that be funny? Toys is super trippy. Ew! I didn't like that thing's tongue. What the fuck? We're Robin Williams and we have a gun that's like an elephant. <laughs> it's actually really good in a bad way. Okay. So we're collecting presents. Oh. So, okay, so I think the only thing I can do is, now we're letting ducks out? Wind up duck. I was like, a duck gun? I want a duck gun, but you Go forth. Kill. Kill. What to say. I like that this exists because it's batshit insane. Okay, so I have this guy back. Oh look, it's an elephant. Mike should definitely play this. Okay, so we can put away and pull out our peanut gun. Um... I'm walking around and trying not to get hit by bombs. Okay, there's something glowing back there, but I don't know what to do. Oh, now we're throwing flubber. I've seen flubber. 
But I have not seen toys. All right. Um. I I don't know. <sighs> that game broke me. I don't know what to say. I don't know. Um. Let's play one more. <laughs> what do you guys want for the final game? I wish there was flubber on Genesis. Mystery Circus? Is that a Genesis game? I know there's like a Circus Mickey and Minnie game on Super Famicom. Days Before Christmas? Eh. Revolution X. The Flintstones. What was the game just now? It was toys based on the Robin Williams movie. <laughs> Sorry for the hiccups. Alicia Dragoon. Jewel Master. Oh, I think I know what that is. Let's try Jewel Master. I think I've played that before. If I'm thinking of the right game. All right. It's like where you're a dude and you have different like jewels on your like rings and you can like do different attacks or something. Thank you so much Dreamy Nebula for subscribing for four months. Thank you. Yeah, okay. I've seen this before. I think I've played it before. Okay. Let's see. I am the Jewel Master. Moss. <laughs> oh, got another jewel. So how do we like change jewels? Not entirely sure. Oh, okay. Oh, you, you, oh, that's right. So you put different jewels on different hands. Okay. So I guess that's the barrier. Hmm. Lots of weird games today, huh? <laughs> oh, you can combine them? Wait, how do I combine them? Wait. Like that? I don't know. Wait, now I have nothing? What's that? Barrier. Well, what's this one do? Speed up. I feel like barrier would be more helpful. No, no, no. Fuck. I keep pressing the wrong thing. Okay. And then we'll take... Was it this one? Yeah, okay. This is so weird. I think it, I don't know, once I get past this like learning curve, I'll probably like it more. Didn't Mike stream this? I feel like he streamed this. Okay. Oh, I thought that barrier would like literally be a barrier for a little bit. Thank you so much, Bugs88, for gifting five more subs. Holy moly. To Hoverboard123, Adam3020, Ramsonix, Meet You Teddy Bear, and Greg of Florida. Thank you so much, Bugs. What game is this? This is Jewel Master. And I don't totally understand. 
Gotta combine the gray with either fire or water. Oh, okay, so that's why it didn't work. Well, let's try one more time. Yes, I'm playing on a real uh, Sega Genesis using a Mega Drive. I mean, a Mega Drive. <laughs> An EverDrive. Okay. Let's try to get back to where we were. Ah. Can I not kill him? Oh no, I can't, he just took a lot. Okay, so now we have that jewel, so let's combine it. Wait, no. Can I like, wait, that's the wrong one. Um. Did I combine it? See, I don't know how to combine it. Does that just mean I put it on the other finger? I don't know, let's try that. No, okay, that's, that's, okay. Uh. Whatever, I don't know, okay. Maybe if we get another ring, I'll figure it out when we have more. Cause right now I don't get it. Thank you so much, King of Apex, for subscribing for three months. Thank you so much. Just go over to the other slot. Shit. Okay, I want you here. And I'll put barrier here. I thought I tried this. I don't know. All right, let's try this. See, now I can't do anything. I don't have a weapon. Unless I do and you can't see it. <sighs> fuck. Okay, so let's take this. Oh, fuck. God damn it. I hate this menu. Okay, and we'll combine these two guys, I guess. Will that work? Oh, there we go. It only took me like 30 tries, but I figured it out finally, thanks to you guys. <laughs> and we're dead. Okay. This is interesting. Obviously, I need to practice it a bit because I was totally confused, but maybe once I get it I would enjoy it I don't know I don't know all right so one more for real and then I'm gonna stop because my hands hurt okay so thanks um I think it was bubs said Mickey and Minnie something or other the great circus mystery was it this one I think it was this one Dragon's Revenge, Dragon's Fury. Well, maybe after this. We'll see how I do. Okay, I didn't know this was on Genesis. I've only seen this uh, for Super Nintendo. I'm gonna be Minnie Mouse. Oh. Do we ride balloons? I thought we were gonna float on balloons. I got excited. This is interesting. <laughs> the graphics are very nice in all these Disney games for Genesis. I just, I don't totally love them as well. I don't like think they're the most fun. This one I can't speak on because I haven't played it, but. Mm -hmm. 
Uh oh. Weasel. There's a weasel. A clown weasel. Okay, so I jump on him when he goes out of the fire, right? Ah, oh, I missed it. Shit! Woo! That was close. No! Poor Minnie. Okay. There we go. Shit! I didn't mean to do that. I like how she squeaks when she gets hit. Aww. <laughs> it makes me feel bad. I'm sorry I keep hurting you, Minnie. And there she goes. Oh. I take like come on there we go okay pretty violent for a Disney game burned to death by a fanged clown well that sounds terrifying <laughs> You always keep walking? Okay. The colors are very vibrant. Oh, there's Pete. Is he wanted or is he like a circus person? Donald! <laughs> Who's the wise guy? Don't sneak up on me like that. Why, Donald, you certainly spook easily. Donald, you haven't noticed anything peculiar or out of sorts, have you? Yeah, those boxes, what a mess. Too bad this sheeper outfit, oh, sweeper outfit won't sweep them up. <laughs> that is too bad, but it might just uncover some clues. Okay. So now we got a new ability, I'm guessing, because we got a new outfit. Oh, look at that. She looks like a little Ghostbuster. And Donald's frozen. Okay, great. Donald's just totally frozen, I guess. Okay. <laughs> oh. So we can't suck him up? Hmm. Oh, look. Secret clues. We're on the roof. Oh! <laughs> this is more interesting than I thought it would be. I'll give it that. Oh! No! Oh, I wanted to climb down the ladder! All right, guys, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to stop it here. My my hands are just hurting too bad. But this was a fun stream. I really liked Valis 3. That was really fun. So I'll probably go ahead and do a full stream of that in the near future. But anyway, thank you so much for hanging out. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll be back again soon. Bye. Do, 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 do. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. All right, bye.